Hey everybody, so one of the questions that a lot of people have been asking me is when is the after movie or the after we collided film adaptation going to start filming? And the answer is because I'm not in the know. I am not, you know, connected to the production in any way. Uh, the answer is I don't know, to be honest. Like that is the easiest answer that I can give. But now let's talk about that a little bit. Because one of the big things that is standing in our way right now is the fact that it has not been officially greenlit. Um, and that means that they have not officially said that, yes, we are going to get an after we uh, collided film. We're, you know, they have not officially said, oh, we're going to get an after movie sequel. But the fact of the matter is, is that if we were not going to get it, I don't think that Anna Todd, uh, Jennifer Gibgott, and an unnamed male screenwriter, I don't think that they would have um, signed on. I mean, I don't think that they would be working on the script right now. I don't think that they would have, you know, I don't think that Jennifer Gibgott would have said, oh, Jenny Gage is not coming back. Because at the time when she said that Jenny Gage was not coming back, then that means that they, um, that they are, that they are looking for a director that, 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 that she would have just simply said, you know, hey, well, we're not getting a sequel. But they're still kind of leading fans on and kind of like saying to fans, you know, oh, keep seeing it, keep seeing it, keep seeing it. They're still updating us. They're still... Um, you know, talking about like how much they're working on the script. Um, so yeah, I mean, that means that basically like there's, it's everything but an official green light. So the question is like, when will it start filming? Like, when will it start? Like, when will it come out? So the answer is, is that if they start filming by the end of the year, then that means that we're going to get it in 2020. If they don't start filming until sometime next year, well, if they start filming towards the beginning of the year, then that means that we'll still get it sometime in 2020. But if they don't start filming until like the midway point next year, like until like May of next year, then that means that we won't get it until 2021. And that is what I hope that they don't do. I hope that they don't keep pushing this back, pushing it back, because that was actually like one of my biggest problems with the... Um, with the Fifty Shades movies is that there was like way too much of a delay in filming, a way too much of a delay in coming out so that even though the films were pretty much set, you know, days apart uh, between the first film and the second film, you can see that, you know, pretty much a year has passed, like two years have passed because the actors look completely different. The actors, um, you know, look much older uh, you can especially see it on Jamie Dornan that, I mean, he does look older. She, uh, Dakota Johnson, she doesn't look like that much older. But yeah, no, like he's the one who, especially with the beard and everything, like, no, he looks much, much older in the um, in the sequels than he does in the first one. So yeah, and I don't think that After is really the kind of film that could um, uh, could could pull that off or be able to, you know, uh, wait that long or wait like two years in between the first one and the second one. I'm wondering if why they haven't green lit this yet is if that they're not, you know, since they said that this is going to be like a, a three, uh, a three film, uh, a trilogy basically, because they're saying that this is going to be like a trilogy. I'm wondering if the reason why they haven't green lit this thing yet is because that they're trying to work out a schedule uh, of shooting the the second and third film back to back the second and third films back to back and so i'm wondering if that's what's causing a little bit more of the delay is that a they're trying to see if you know if they would even be able to pull this off and actually you know shoot both films back to back or if i mean just to kind of you know kind of like talk amongst themselves like see like with hero finds tiffin with josephine langford like what would their schedule be like because it it does take time i mean if you're going to shoot a movie especially if you're shooting two movies back to back that's going to take up a chunk of your schedule so especially with the fact that hero finds tiffin has a film that he's going to be filming josephine langford is filming something for hulu uh yeah i think it is hulu unless i'm mistaken uh leave a comment if you know more about that uh, if I'm getting that dead wrong, but yeah, they're both filming something right now. And I think that he might be filming something like a month or two. So I think it really is going to come down to their schedules because, uh, let's face it. There are Hessa. They are the people that I think that they should stick with this thing, that they're the people that I think should, you know, keep coming back and portraying these characters. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the, the big answer here is because like the big question is going to be like, when will they start filming? 
well, the big answer is they have not even officially got a green light yet, or like, when will this thing even come out? Uh, if they start filming by the end of the year 2020, if they start filming, um, say January or February of 2020, then that might, then, then, that, then, then that could still mean, sorry, I got a little tongue tied there then that could still mean that the, the, the scene is still coming out in 2020. If they start filming like May or uh, May, June, July of 2020, then that means that we're not going to get it until 2021. So yeah, uh, I hope that that answered, you know, any questions that you guys might have. Again, the big thing right now is that we're just waiting for the official green light. So jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, Thank you so, so much for your continued support. Thank you so, so much to this fandom who has, you know, just helped this channel grow more and more and more, who has, uh, you know, just made this channel explode. Uh, I would not be here without you guys. So, so thank you so, so much for that. Uh, this fandom truly is something else. And thank you so, so much for being so welcoming uh, for me into this fandom. So yeah, uh, jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, if you like what you see here and you want to continue to see more, uh, remember to subscribe or keep subscribing. And uh, I'll see you later after Naders. Take care, y'all.